Hey, how's it going everybody? It's been a while since I've uploaded a video here on YouTube. Um, so I apologize on that, but there's a guy um, online that's been um, emailing me and harassing me, asking me to make a video on uh, my street settings with the Ricoh GR3 Street Edition camera. And, you know, um, it's hard to just do a video for one person, but I might as well keep that one loyal fan happy. <laughs> Jokes aside, um, I, I wanna make a quick video on my street photography settings, my personal street photography settings with the Ricoh GR3 Street Edition camera. And these settings can really be applied to any digital camera. Um, you probably just gotta uh, go through the menu and interface a little bit differently, obviously. Um, so let's try get through this and save you some time. Um, get through this in five minutes. Let the countdown begin. Ten, nine, eight. So first things first, shoot in manual mode. Uh, prior to using the GR3, I shot in P mode, but for some reason, uh, to my eye, the street edition camera, the Ricoh GR3, it's pretty sensitive to light and um, it fluctuates. Uh, it's pretty sensitive, so it fluctuates uh, pretty drastic in my opinion. So I set my mode to manual. So the second thing after I set it to manual mode, I set my output to JPEGs. Raw is a little bit overkill. JPEGs is good enough for me. I don't print out. I don't print my um, work. I've noticed the when I bring the JPEGs into Lightroom, um, the edits that I do make to it are more than good enough. And I don't make too much edits in Lightroom just because I try to capture everything in camera. And two, I don't really know how to use the software. Three, I just bring the contrast, the shadows, uh, the clarity, things like that, basic stuff. Um, up or down uh, on the image on um, so to me jpegs is uh, more than good enough especially for what i do just it's just for the web or instagram which i assume it's for most people so uh, for me it's less stress i'm trying to file manage both raw and jpeg so i just stick to jpeg the third thing i do is turn off auto review turning auto review uh, really saves battery life and there's no need to see what you just shot. It kind of slows you down when you should just be focused on shooting. Um, you can look at all the photos that you captured later when you're done with your shoot. Um, so me, for me, auto review is uh, unnecessary. The fourth thing I do is I set my ISO to auto. Limitations as low as 200 and as high as 1200 ISO. And then I set my aperture and shutter to manual. I usually set my um, aperture between f8 to f16. If I'm shooting in the evening, which I normally do, uh, it's anywhere between f8 and f11. If I'm shooting uh, in the afternoon, uh, where the sun is out and bright, it's always at uh, f16. My shutter is usually between uh, one, uh, 1 of a second or 320 of a second. And then my ISO, hovers back and forth, um, which doesn't really get in the way of my shooting. Fifth thing is I don't I turn off the face detection because I don't shoot in autofocus. Sixth thing I do is I turn off the autofocus assistant. Uh, this get, That gives the red light here, and you don't want people to know that you're taking a photo of them, so there's no point in leaving that on. I don't even know why they have that option available. Turn off uh, autofocus, and I set my focus to snap focus. Snap focus to one meter of a distance. So anything one meter on is um, in focus. So there you have it um, in under five minutes, my street photography settings with the Ricoh GR3 Street Edition camera. And again, these settings can be applied to um, any digital camera right now. Um, you just gotta navigate differently in the menu um, based on the camera. Other than that, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please hit the subscribe button and that bell right next to the subscribe button. Hit that and every time I upload new video or content, 
uh, you'll be notified. But until then, um, yeah.